Hello guys, Code 4 is back with another amazing video. This video is all about the frequently asked questions from chapter 1 of Computer Science IGCSE. If you are new to this channel, this channel is all about educational stuff. So make sure you subscribe Code 4. Without further ado, let's get started. Before moving on to the video, I would like to tell you some things about this video. The questions which are discussed in this video are from past papers. All questions explained may come or may not come in your board exam. The answers discussed here are from marking scheme, so don't worry about that. There will be all frequently asked questions from each chapter and are in order. Questions from 2015 to 2020, it's up to date. Pass paper code for each question given on the left top side of your screen. Marks for each question are given in square brackets. The video also has memory tips which will help you remember answers. Each day there will be a video posted on each chapter FAQ. It's that simple. If you want an A star in your mark sheet, just turn on the notification bell to always and subscribe code 4. The first chapter, binary systems and hexadecimal. Here is the past paper code for this question. The first question, convert the hexadecimal number B5 into binary. Convert the binary number 11110110 into hexadecimal. Give two examples where hexadecimal numbers are used in computer science. State two benefits of using hexadecimal numbers in computer science. Just four questions and you are easily getting six marks. The third and fourth question in this slide are the FAQs and the first two are for you so that you can get some knowledge on conversions too. Six marks in just six lines. Now let's look at the answers. First, let's see the third and fourth subdivision. You can write any two of the following for examples of where hexadecimal are used. HTML, MAC address, debugging or used in machine code. Then the benefits of hexadecimal are 16 bit words can be turned into four hex digits that is so simple and also it is easy to convert to binary now let's do the conversions but before that let me show you an image try to remember the 8421 method for binary to hexadecimal conversion it's that simple just look for the order that is if hexadecimal number is A, then that is 10. And that 10 can be written as 8 plus 2. So put the ones on the number which are used. In this case, it is 1010. 10. Same applies for binary. Write down the numbers, separate it into groups of 4. Write 8421 on top of each group, then add the numbers where 1 is there. I hope you understand. Let's solve the question in this similar method. Converting B5 into binary. As you know, B means 11. So 11 can be written as 8 plus 2 plus 1. So place the ones on the numbers used. That is 8, 2 and 1. So that becomes 1011. The next number is 5. 5 can be written as 4 and 1. So place the ones on the numbers used. So it is 0, 1, 0, 1. Now combine these 8 digits. It can be written as 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now let's do for binary to hexadecimal. 1, 1, 1, 1. This is a 4 digit group. 0, 1, 1, 0 is a 4 digit group. Now 1, 1, 1, 1 means all the numbers in 8421 are used that is 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 that becomes 15 and that digit for 15 is f then for 0110 means 
4 and 2 are used. So 4 plus 2 is 6. So it is F6. I hope you understand this question. Now let's move on to the next question. Explain what is meant by HTML. Wow, a 3 mark question which can easily be answered right. The next subdivision. HTML uses both structure and presentation. Describe what is meant by structure and what is meant by presentation. This question can get you confused, but don't worry. I have a memory trick so that you remember it lifelong. The next subdivision is explain the function of a web browser. Wow, 8 marks to get easily. The answers are so simple. And guess what? For the first question, writing the full form of HTML fetches you one mark. Now let's discuss on the answers. For the first subdivision, as I already mentioned, writing the full form gets you a mark. So write hypertext markup language. We also know that HTML is used to create web pages and they are translated by browsers to display web pages. And most importantly, we have learned from our childhood that using tags in HTML can create content. So HTML uses tags to display content. Moving on to the second subdivision, which I mentioned, it can confuse you. And also this question is repeated many times. So make sure you store it in your head. So the answer is structure in HTML instructs how the layout of the content is displayed. Then presentation in HTML instructs how the contents will be formatted. Example, CSS, that is cascading style sheet. So an easy way to remember is remember Sri Lanka. The first two letters, S, L. So that means structure is for layout. Then personal computer, PC, it is for presentation and content. Hope you find this memory trick useful. Comment below. The last subdivision explains function of web browser and that has four points in the marking scheme but you actually need to write down only three. They are, they display web pages, they translate HTML document, they provide function and identify protocols. Examples are not considered as an extra point. In first question, we wrote HTML is translated by a browser to display web pages and now in the last subdivision we are writing browser translates html document so understand that all questions are interconnected now let's move on to the next question hexadecimal codes are used in mac address state what is meant by the term mac and explain what the hexadecimal code in a mac address represents again here comes a repeated question in many papers also remember to know all full forms which can fetch you a mark. Suppose if there is a question on USB, writing universal serial bus will fetch you one mark. Same here, writing the full form of Mac will fetch you the mark. Let's look at the answers now. For the first subdivision, the answer is media access control. For the second one, the answer is hardware or physical address. MAC address is unique address associated with a device or a computer. MAC address is usually 48 or 64 bits long. The first 6 or 8 digits are the manufacturer's code and the last 6 or 8 digits are the serial number of the device. There are plenty of options for this question and it's a straightforward question. These are all the frequently asked questions in IGCC on chapter 1. There is a video on hard questions which is yet to come, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. New video will soon be available for all 8 chapters. Make sure you comment your doubts and we would appreciate all valuable feedbacks. Like, share and subscribe code 4. Frequently asked questions for chapter 2 coming soon.